you all. Beautiful. Susan, Jeff, Edward. Hey, how are you? Can you hear me okay? Yes. Okay, awesome. So uh, today's subject is very interesting. Today's subject is about the secret of happiness and long life in Chinese culture and Taoist tradition and traditional Chinese medicine. So what is the secret for, uh, for uh, happiness, health, and long life? Does that sound great? Just when you say it, it's just like you can say it again and again and you, you feel it too. So it's a very interesting subject that I'm uh, excited to share. Uh, let's start with a little bit of a meditation. <laughs> like we always start, we have a little ceremony to start with, just to kind of connect with the heart, calm the heart. Yeah, and this subject actually is going to be involved with the heart. So the secret is, uh, is understanding the faculty of the heart. And that's what we're going to talk about a little bit today. And then we're going to open it to like, Anybody that wants to share or, um, or question, whatever question uh, you'd like to ask. So let's put the hands on the heart. Uh, starting with a little meditation, if you will. Everybody also, people that are joining me online, wherever you are, uh, see that you, uh, you participate. Let me just, uh, before we do, I think that I need to change something here. One second, you guys. I'm doing it by myself today. All right, here we go. All right, so let's put the hands on the heart and uh, put your mind in this area and the heart center and put your breath there. And we're starting the process of connecting with the heart of just listening to this area, any physical sensation that you feel in this area. Does it feel contracted? Does it feel heavy? Does it feel expanded? That it feels tingly. People sometimes call it butterfly in the heart or heavy in the heart. It's interesting that our language we're actually using, we're already using the language of, of energy without even being aware or, or being aware. But let's see what you feel in the heart. Physical sensation again could be heavy or light or open. And what interesting is, is when you're putting your attention in that area and you're acknowledging, we're coming with curiosity and acknowledging what there is there physically, just physically on the physical level for the, to begin with. And the breath goes there, of course. That tends to change. So wherever we put our attention on with curiosity, without judgment, it tends to change and to evolve. So curiosity is just being curious of how does it feel there? <laughs> and also connecting with the emotional aspect of the heart. So we're we moving from the physical to the emotional. How do you feel? Yeah, the quality of the energy. Are you happy? Are you fine? Are you angry? Wherever you are today. You're feeling rushed. Yeah, and after we kind of acknowledge where we are in our heart, we smile to it. <clears throat> yeah, so we're just showing it affection and love and care. Hold it with compassion. The heart is processing emotion. A life experiences. There's a lot of experiences we, the heart processed from birth until today. And to show it a little bit of care and compassion for all the different sensation, emotion, it processed. The abundance of energy you accumulated and you're going to still continue to accumulate in this lifetime. Showing it love and appreciation. And what's interesting is what we started to show love and appreciation, the heart starting to be a more coherent state, like the heartbeat, even the physical heartbeat, the blood pressure, things like that started to be regulated. And you show it love and appreciation. 
And let's move our attention into the mid-eye point, the area between the eyebrow. And from here, project into the universe, project into the sun. So it's almost like from the mid-eye point, you stretch a line into the universe and into the sun. And when you inhale, you inhale this sun into the center of the brain. You let the sun, the light come in to the cranial area and from there down to the heart. Put a smile on your face and absorb the light. Absorb the light through this route, through this route from the mid-eye to the center of the brain, from the center of the brain to the center of your heart. It's like you're sitting in front of a beautiful sunset and you're starting to collect the light of the sun. The sun and the heart the sun is a reflection of the heart, is the fire element, the passion, the reason for life. Yeah, the sun brings us life. And the sun, the, the heart is resonating with the, with the sun. So just feel the sun in your heart, like illuminating. And after we accumulate all this internal light, see your body is full of this light. Yeah, it start to accumulate a lot of light from outside. And then when it has all this light, it can shine, shine the light also. So your, sun, your heart becomes like the sun. And everybody you can come across with or whatever you do, you bring that light of yours and share it with the world. So you're not only absorbing the light, you're also reflecting it out. You are the sun. Nice. 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 And let's open, relax the hands down and open the eyes. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. So this is a beautiful, and this is really uh, the premise. This meditation is the whole, it kind of summarized the premise of, of this, the secret in Chinese culture of uh, happiness and longevity, happiness, health, and longevity. So let's talk a little bit about it. So when you're born, the first thing you do when you're born is to take an air in. You take life in, you take energy from the outside in, and that feels very good. So then the next time you take another inhalation and another inhalation, and then you're thirsty, right? So you take you drink water or your mother's milk and it feels good, yeah? You, you, you taste something good and it feels good, so you take more. You see something out there and it feels good. You take a jacket, you put it on yourself, you feel warm and it, it, it feels really good. So what we learn from birth is that we're constantly looking for things outside and taking them into your own body and it feels good. So we know that when, whenever we, we open the eyes or whatever we do, we take things from outside in, it feels very good. It feels good. It feels healthy and nourishing. So the basis that we are born in, 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 uh, in Chinese uh, medicine and culture, we say the desire is a very healthy one. Yeah, You have to take care of your body. I mean, can you imagine if you, if you decide not to take air in? <clears throat> what would happen. It's just, you know, you're supposed to live 100 years and after two minutes, no more life if you don't take air in or if you don't take food in or if people sometimes they're very depressed and they don't feel like eating, right? So they kind of like uh, this desire is very important, the desire to nourish yourself from air, from water, from from other sources, from outside in, it's, it's very uh, primal and it's very uh, important for your, for your wellness and for your health and for your happiness. You take something in, it feels very good, you feel happy. So the basis of what we learn from, from birth is that when we take things in, the desire is starting when we acknowledge that whenever we take from outside in into ourselves, it feels very good. 
So that's one one uh, aspect of of the of energy energy kind of like absorption uh, and the desire of the heart. So we're starting to talk about the subject from the heart perspective, from the desire. And the, the primal desire to take care of yourself and to take care is very, very important for life. But then we see people that have a lot of, a lot. They have, they have a lot of food and, you know, and especially in our culture, we have abundance of food. Everybody's, uh, I mean, if you, of course, there's people that's struggling, but if you look at the people that have abundance of energy, you know, they have a lot of money, they have a lot of cars and a lot of houses and a lot of, and we look and we say, they're not really happy. I mean, not all of them, at least not all the time. It's very easy to glance and see that actually if you have, if you were able to kind of like perfect that process that you started to recognize from birth, uh, you're not definitely happy and not necessarily having a long life. So then we ask the question, so what is it that, um, what is it that, uh, what is the secret for happiness and long life then? And so we talk about the, in Chinese medicine, the heart is the light. And the outside, there's a lot of light. So the, the first desire to get the light in is to enter the light. You see, you see a, um, you know, a tree with a lot of fruits. You take the fruit, that sun that uh, kind of like got into this fruit, you take it in, you uh, assimilate it and you make it part of you. So this, so you continue to absorb that light. But then when you have the light, you're not necessarily, as, 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 as we said, we don't necessarily, everybody is happy and having a long life. So what's going on? So we say that the, the next process is to, uh, if, you look about, if you look at light, like a light bulb, it also emanates light. And that's very important. And that's that kind of like, if you will, the secret so let's say that you have a lot of food and then as somebody comes and tell you, Hey, I want your food. And you tell, well, it's kind of, it's my food. And, and if I give it to you, I feel like, I feel like uh, in shortage, but what if you have a lot of food and uh, if you give it out, you don't feel like you are in shortage. And this is really, where kind of like the secret of, of uh, happiness and long life lives is that this light of this bulb needs to emanate out. So uh, practices of uh, generosity, of gratitude, sharing. So gratitude is about saying thank you. Whenever you say thank you to the apple, whenever you're saying thank you to your mother's milk, whenever you say thank you to the universe, there's it's um what happened is the exchange with the universe the exchange happens when the lights start to go both direction so this is going into the concept of yin and yang yeah you have to you absorb but if you don't give if you're not share if you don't share the light there's no way to you cannot breathe only you cannot take only air in you have to exhale it out <laughs> if we don't exhale it out you are not in balance. So, so one aspect is to know when you take, how much is enough? How much is, so it's all about balance, yes? Yeah? So sometimes we overeat <laughs> or take too much. We want, we want, we want. But it's the, the uh, when we give, that's when we start to recognize the balance and, and it's a practice of, of actually being at service uh, and sharing. Yeah, so this is really uh, what we say uh, is the secret for, for long life and for, uh, for, for happiness is to, ha to be in balance between yin and yang is to understand that uh, giving to somebody else or giving is also receiving. So whenever there start to be exchange with the universe, uh, there, this is really what we called, uh, this is kind of like a simplified version of, 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 but really the basis of Chinese medicine and Chinese culture 
about happiness, health, and long life. Uh, and it starts with the heart. It starts with the understanding the concept, a few concepts of the reciprocation. Recipro recipro <laughs> I don't know how to say it in English. <laughs> but when you have exchange, yes, Dan. Reciprocation. Reciprocation. Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, whenever you have reciprocation <clears throat> and also when is enough what is what not to be in access yeah when do you feel like okay I took an apple from the tree I ate it and now I have 10 apples but if I eat them I'll have a stomach ache um, but if I give them to somebody else maybe they can give me something else or be supporting of me so really this is the concept of of uh, of of happiness and long life, it's, uh, it's sharing uh, the light, is getting the light in, what we recognize from birth, and then what we recognize later is sharing it out. I have a story, a personal story, a very uh, <laughs> contemporary story, and uh, this story is about COVID-19. When COVID-19 started, I stopped my classes, yeah, the, the uh, studios, all the studios closed, and I felt like, okay, I'm on vacation. <laughs> and so I, uh, I, I, I felt like great. I'm like, okay, well, that would be a good time to take vacation. And it was a week, and then it was two weeks. And then I started to feel bad. I started to feel even a little bit depressed. And, um, and I, I had everything I need. I didn't, I didn't lack money or food or anything. I had everything. I had vacation. I did hikes and all that. But I felt, uh, <clears throat> I felt kind of like almost like, uh, you know, almost like a sense of depression coming on to me. Like I, I didn't feel that good energetically. I felt like, and then my partner, Adam, told me, hey, why don't you start to teach online? And I'm like, no, I'm on vacation. And he said, no, no, you should start teaching. And whenever I start teaching, I felt good again. I felt good again slowly. And then I decided to you know, some of you were on this uh, group program where we did the six week really fun program. And actually, whenever I gave more, I felt that I'm getting more. So, uh, so this is, uh, and this is, this cheat talk is part of it. <laughs> so, uh, so this is uh, kind of a little example and uh, a little, st a little uh, talk about, about uh, happiness long life and, and health in, in Chinese culture and Chinese medicine. So uh, I'd like to open it to the group and to uh, see if you, anybody that has question, but also to share from their perspective or maybe another perspective about this topic or, or uh, that can kind of nourish us or uh, ask a question. So uh, see if you have something. Yeah, Marty. Go ahead, unmute yourself. Yeah. Hello, everybody. So I think a lot of us was ha were, are having the same feelings that you did. You know, it's been yeah. a roller coaster of emotions. You know, a, a lot of us were lucky to live in Marin County. Uh, we have gorgeous weather. Uh, we have hills to hike in and enjoy. But there is a guilt feeling now because it's been long enough. And the fact that you went and are, are teaching now and that you're getting inner fulfillment, that's a real key to what we need to do to get out of that slump when we're down here, you know, share. For instance, this morning, um, I was riding the bike after, I was riding an indoor bike after I took your class. And for some reason, I had a connection, I wanted to connect with a friend of mine. So I said, hi, thinking of you, yada, yada. Anyway, she was in the middle of a crisis of a friend who just passed away last night. Mm -hmm. And so we had like an exchange, a little exchange. And the end feeling was I felt really good about giving, giving out, giving back to somebody. Because did I know she was in a crisis? No. But, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's good to give and think of somebody. It's really good at this point to reach out to friends who are at home and need a phone call or a text or something. That's a way of giving to kind of bring people's spirits up now because we are going through this emotional roller coaster. 
Yes, yes, that's such beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is so important. And you know, and sometimes we, we, uh, we can do it even by, uh, you know, actually uh, not wait for somebody to, but really do it from our own initiative, you know, to do it from our own initiative and to do it in meditation and prayer. Sometimes like in the morning, I devote uh, my meditation every morning to sometimes to my clients, my one-on-one -on -one clients and really, uh, or sometimes to my family in Israel, and sometimes I bless people, you know, and this, uh, this is uh, very important when we, when we think about something. When also you give, uh, there's uh, what going on in the brain is that you, you have enough, you are able to give. When you, when you give, when, you, uh, when you're praying for somebody else and not for yourself, and you're praying for somebody else, your brain is, I'm already being taken care of. It's not about uh, that you always need to uh, exchange, uh, you know, extend yourself outward, but uh, the balance of give and receive is, is very important. Yeah, thank you for sharing. That's beautiful. <laughs> Anybody else wants to add something to it? Yes, Edward, go ahead, unmute yourself. How's that? Yeah, here we hear yeah, you. Here we go. Okay, so this this today um, is probably the, one of the most important things. And uh, Sunday we had the class, which was sensational. And I always get something new from you. Everything I do, and I did the six week course, was great. And Sunday was about manifestation. And what I've learned, and we've had this conversation. I've said to you, I'm so serotonin abundant. I'm always happy. And what I've learned is it's my word. And as I teach my grandchildren, it's not about you. When you want, if you want, my grandson said, well, grandpa, I want a million dollars. That's my word. I said, no, no. When you make a million dollars for someone else, you'll get it back. And what Marty just said, I've been calling friends from day one, family that I haven't spoken to in a while. <laughs> from day one of this COVID thing. But I walk around going, I love my day. Thank you, God. I, I, I'm so grateful. And all these words you've given us for the six week course and wonder and everything else. But the secret of the universe, again, as I tell my grandchildren, is giving it away to others. Not in order to I get the million, just that's it. I just want you to get a million dollars. I want you to be healthy. And you know, I work with friends and I have one friend doing a one-on-one -on -one with you. Now is going through clearing up and getting rid of cancer. And it's just in these conversations and what Marty did, you know, today, it's just giving away the abundance that we have. Mm -hmm. we're just being in Marin, we're abundant. <laughs> Next case, you know, and then I go, well, thank God my grandchildren are across the street my house is right across from them. I have them every day. They were here last night. You know, and other people, I haven't seen my grandchildren to hug them. I, and again, it's your word saying I'm grateful. I love my day. I'm so happy that I can talk to you today. And, you know, and, and bless you for the courses that you're doing because they're always growing. They're bigger and better. And, and this past Sunday was great you know, this is how you manifest. So what Marty said, what you're saying, what I've learned is manifesting a great day to give away to others. Mm, so beautiful. So beautiful. Uh, Edward, you're, I love when you say these things and you're so eloquent and it's so correct. And you're really a person, I know you personally, you really walk that walk and uh, this is really your thing to give to others and it's it's just beautiful it's beautiful and it's uh, totally with with the dow and <laughs> so thank you for sharing <laughs> susan i see your hands up let's let's hear your voice hey can you hear me now yep okay um i find the same thing that both Ed and Marty and you have been talking about that 
the more we give, the more we receive. Um, there are times, sometimes in the winter, when I feel like I have nothing to give. So what do you recommend when we're feeling low or uh, running on empty? Um, you know, how do we, what do we, mm -hmm. what do you recommend? Great question. I see Dan is really raising his hand passionately. So Dan, what do you, what do you recommend first? <laughs> Dan, you have to unmute yourself. <laughs> what I find when I hit those, those moments is allowing myself the love, the grace, you know, and go, wow, this is how I'm feeling today. And it's okay. And you know, I think we're, part of it is, it's like, we have to be real with how we're feeling. And if we're not feeling happy, I mean, when you actually say, boy, I just don't feel it today. I'm, 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 I'm just kind of down and, you know, I'll pick up the phone and I'll call a friend and just all they have to do is listen and I feel better. And what I'm realizing is that it isn't, it's allowing them to do what we want to do to them. It's allowing them the privilege, the joy. It allows them to open up their heart to us. So it's like we're allowing mm -hmm. this in, inhale, exhale, back and forth. I mean, I, it's, it's, it's really a beautiful thing for me. And, and that in itself, you know, just knowing that somebody's able to be there for me. Wow, what a gift I've just given them. And what a gift it's been to me. It's, it's, you know, really sharing that gift back and forth. You know, sometimes you're down and somebody else is up and it's like, wow, that balance is just. Yeah, wow. that's a good idea. Love that. I love that. Edward, yes. Dan, thank you so much. That's beautifully said, passionately said. Oh, so yeah. So what I've learned from you, and I realized I've really known to do it, but I didn't realize I was doing it, was if you're feeling down, Susan, or anybody, it's just change your energy. And from you, I've learned in the very beginning of the Qigong was to bang my heels down and you'll change <laughs> your energy. <laughs> and, and again, your word creates your world. So it's like, you know, hey, whistle a happy tune, I'm happy. And it's amazing. And it's, it's appreciate what's there now. It's like, yeah. you yeah. know what? I appreciate the winter. Yeah. I like to feel the cold. I mm -hmm. like to feel the heat. I like to feel this. Thank you, God. And it's amazing. It just changes. It you know, transforms. It, it, it makes me think, you know, you can even appreciate, hey, God, thanks for letting me feel this different emotion. Wow. You <laughs> yeah. Know, I have a choice. Wow. This, this is really cool. <laughs> How do you know the top if you don't feel the bottom? Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> so, or anything I'll, in between. Yeah, and my mother would say, live and be well. Well, I'm alive, so I feel this and I feel that. So. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Like, it's really, really great. Yeah, that's, it's, this is so true. It's like uh, we, we want to not push out anything that we feel and be connected to it. And yet we can change the energy within ourselves, like uh, practice gratitude of what you have, and, uh, you know, when I was kind of feeling depressed, when I couldn't teach my classes, I started to teach classes online. And I have to, I have to say, I kind of pushed myself in doing that. I was really pushing myself in doing that. I really didn't feel it in the morning, in the beginning. And here I'm confessing to you. <laughs> I really do. But then the first class, I felt like, oh, my, wow, I gave and I kind of like received so much love from them, even though we're all online. I felt the energy and I felt like, wow, it's, it's rolling the, the wheel again. And, and uh, so it's sometimes taken effort. Uh, but uh, yeah, all these advices were great. Yeah, Edward, go ahead. So uh, what I learned a long time ago was the saying, and everyone should write this down, because what you did is you went where you didn't want to go. You didn't want to go to online classes, but look what you got. So the saying is, go where you don't want to go, and you'll get what you want. <laughs> so if you just push through it and go and do something, but serve, it's in the service to others. 
So you're serving us, and what are you getting? You're giggling today. You know, you're happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's so true. And and it could be also a, a, a self care, either serving other or self caring. Or or if a lot of people are are give are are givers, and they right. and they need to, uh, and and people run themselves down by by being givers. And so it's important to understand the kind of the balance between giving and receiving. Uh, understanding self-care. If you are a person that just always at service of others, know how to uh, serve yourself, how to uh, put time in the day to self-care, to do your time and to, you know, walk in the forest or whatever you need to do to self-care. So that's, um, that, that's very important too. And, uh, and if, when the, the idea of sharing in Taoist tradition is not it's really, it's really about exchanging energy. It's, it's really about getting, supporting yourself. And um, it's not about, uh, you know, it doesn't come from a place of, uh, of I'm, I, you know, it's not coming from a place of I need to help that person because it's really, uh, it's really from understanding this concept of sharing is, is, is giving. And, and, and like what Dan said, some people are high, some people are low, and we all, and, and you give them a service like, like Marty, uh, you know, what she, her example was beautiful that, you know, she got from it something and the other person got from it. So there's a win-win really, right? Yeah. This was beautiful. Yeah, Edward. So what I also got is like, you know, we're all locked down now, so to speak. And my son said to me, you know, dad, I haven't been in the city for three months. And he finally said, well, just go take a ride around, you know. But I realized, I go, well, I'm not supposed to do that. I said, David, I'm traveling two plus months a year. I'm not going anywhere, but I'm not supposed to. I'm, this is what's supposed to be. This is accepting this. And I will travel again. I will get it all done. So for some reason, we're all supposed to be like this and we're safe and it will re-energize us and boy we appreciate eating in a restaurant getting on an airplane <laughs> it's just going to be so much more awareness to that and thankfulness right. and gratefulness right 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 and and it's 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 a new thing it's 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 uh it's yeah we we are experiencing we're kind of like uh <laughs> going into things that we haven't done before. It's, it's, uh, it's like a new habit and uh, a lot of people feel frustration around it, right? So how can we, how can we make room for that? And I chose this subject, for this, uh, this subject for the conversation today in lieu of the, of the workshop coming up about emotional resilience. And you know, I think this is a perfect time to talk about emotional resilience and how we, how we, uh, how we how we make it to be and 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 this conversation is beautiful it's really understanding the kind of like how do we go about about it but we will we'll share more in in, in this uh emotional re resilient workshop wow what a beautiful participation you guys this is great so this was a, a talk about happiness, health, and longevity in Chinese culture. Thank you guys so much for joining me. <laughs> uh, we keep it half an hour, even though it's like, I feel like talking about for another half an hour, but we'll cut it off here so people really engage to participate. Let's close it by putting the hands again on the heart, just closing the circle and rub the heart, just feeling warm heartedness, thinking about, and kind of close like we begin. Yeah, feeling uh, the light of the sun, absorbing the light of the sun into the, the heart and absorbing and absorbing and also reflecting it. You are the sun. When we feel that we can give or if we don't feel that we have enough, if we give and we see that other people are happy, and got something out of us, we feel that we have the light. We do have the light. Even though we didn't see it before, we do have it. So, uh, yeah, feel the light inside. Feel your light, and you, it's always shining as long as you're alive. And sharing it with others, sharing it, feel like the light emanating from your body, from your heart, 
and lights up the universe with love and harmony, goodwill and peace. Yeah, so when we become the source of peace, when we become the source of light, we act like that. When you act like that, then you become it. Yeah, so this is uh, interesting, interesting how energy works. All right, thank you guys so much. And I'll see you next week or in class. Bye, everybody. Bye, Susan, Marty. It's so nice to see you. Bye, Edward, Dan. Thank you for joining. Beth, bye-bye.